There has never been a better time to make some extra income on the side. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about 12 different side hustles that you can do that actually will generate a decent amount of income for you. And as we're going through these, I will have links to every single one down below and additional information that I'm talking about will all be down in the description down below. So check that out if you need any more details. And so with that out of the way, let's get started. All right, first on the list is Uber or Lyft whatever you prefer. And so I'm sure you've probably ridden with one of them, but you can drive for them. And I'm sure you know this, you might've even thought about it, but it's actually a pretty decent and flexible side hustle that you can take advantage of and actually earn a decent amount of money as well. Uber and Lyft both have different earnings kind of figures that they advertise. And I've seen anything from 20 to $35 an hour. Every town is going to be different. So it's, it's just a hard one to know exactly what you're gonna get until you kind of start diving in a little bit. But driving for each one of these companies offers a lot of flexibility and kind of just gives you some control over your own schedule and when you wanna work. But I do know that both Lyft and Uber are really trying to recruit drivers at the time of this recording. So it's definitely an option to consider if you're looking for a good flexible way to make some extra cash. All right, next on the list is, this one's kind of interesting. Uh, so I stumbled across this uh, probably six or nine months ago, but but basically this guy, um, I think his name is Brian, he kind of built his own business where he was going around to different local businesses and cleaning, picking up the trash on their parking lots. And he kind of developed a system where he's doing this and making over or into the six figures, uh, picking up trash off of parking lots. And uh, anyway, and he created like a ebook basically where he shows exactly how to do this. And, you know, more or less telling you exactly what you need to do uh, in order to get gigs like this and build a business like this. And personally, I just get excited when I see people like this entrepreneurial spirit coming out and this guy taking this little thing of walking around parking lots, picking up trash and turning it into not only a full-time income, but a really nice full-time income. And so for this one, if you like being outside, you like walking a lot, um, you know, it, it's something definitely consider. All right, next on the list is Airbnb. And just like the first one, Uber, you probably have heard of this. You might've already used Airbnb. You might use it all the time, but, you can actually earn some really good money just by renting out your house or by renting out even a room in your house. Uh, and I've even heard about students renting out their dorm rooms. So depending on what city you live in and how well traveled it is, uh, you could even consider that. We have friends in town actually, who every time they travel and go out of town, they rent their house out. And in many cases, they actually earn money while they're traveling because they're getting paid more from uh, renting out their house than they're actually spending to uh, to stay other places. So, and one of the big concerns that a lot of people have, and I know this is something that I've thought about a lot, is you know what happens if something comes in just destroys my house. And so Airbnb has this million dollar host guarantee where they will just take care of anything that happens. You know things are covered up to a million dollars, which is really great. They also have the uh, insurance thing taken care of, this host protection insurance. And the other part of this that I like a lot that makes me feel a whole lot better versus just renting out to somebody on Craigslist uh, is that Airbnb, you can see and you can choose who's going to rent out your place. And so, you know, you can see what kind of reviews they have. And if you don't want to rent to somebody, you don't need to. So that kind of flexibility just uh, eliminates a lot of the kind of concern and risk. So if you're traveling, if you are, you know, going on vacation, this is definitely something to consider because you could easily make a few hundred, if not a couple thousand dollars, depending on how long you're gone. All right, next up is Amazon Flex. And what this is, is basically you deliver boxes for Amazon. So UPS isn't cutting it. And, uh, you know, the Amazon is just obviously everywhere and they are just delivering stuff like crazy, especially with Prime Now. And so they have this program called Amazon Flex where you can get paid to deliver boxes for Amazon. And apparently you can make 18 to $25 an hour, which is really cool. Uh, and it's also a very flexible one where, like I say here, you can be your own boss, set your own schedule and just kind of control when you're going to do this. And on top of that, it's like, I don't know if it gets much easier than driving over an address with GPS, dropping a package off on the doorstep and then walking away. And to be able to potentially make $25 an hour doing that, that is pretty cool. All right, next on the list is an app called User Testing. And it's an app website and we actually did a separate review about it. So I'll have that linked up down in the description as well as above. And basically what this is, is you are testing websites and getting paid to do it. And so there are a lot of companies who might have built a website and they wanna see how users respond to it. If the website is communicating what they want uh, to be communicated. And so they hire testers to come on the website and to give feedback, you know? So 
does this landing page make sense? Do you know where to click to get to the store or the checkout button? And they'll ask you questions like this, and you just answer questions using a headset microphone. And your job is just to answer questions that they ask you about this specific website. So it's really pretty simple, not much to it. You get paid $10 a test, and they estimate that most tests take about 20 minutes. And so you're looking at around $30 an hour. Now, the only downside about this one is that I don't know how scalable it is in that I don't know that you could turn this into a full-time job. I don't know if there are enough tests available. You know, So you might be limited on what's available to you, but either way, it's a pretty simple way to make some extra cash. All right, next on the list is selling used books. And I actually have this video here, which I will link to above as well, where we go into a little bit more detail about this. But basically, uh, one thing I've done is go into Goodwill and find used books. And then I use uh, an app to kind of scan that book to see what I could sell it for online. And oftentimes you can go to Goodwill and buy a book for 25 cents that you might be able to sell for five or $10 online. And so obviously, if you can repeat that a few times, you can actually make some decent money. And so if you don't mind shopping through Goodwill, kind of looking for things like that, which I actually enjoy, I think it's really fun. Uh, this is something that you could do and earn some decent cash, obviously have 100% control over when you do this. And um, yeah, a pretty good option to consider. All right, next on the list is a company called Live Ops. And what they do is they hire call center agents and they're virtual call center agents. So you can work from home. So as long as your house is quiet or you have a quiet room in your house where you can kind of uh, answer these calls, uh, you're good to go. And this one also offers a good amount of flexibility in terms of setting your own schedule. The earnings on this one might be lower than a few of the other ones we've explored on this list so far, but obviously being able to work from home and being able to set your own hours is a pretty uh, desirable thing. All right, next up is starting an eBay business. And that might sound more intimidating than it actually is. And I wrote this article here, which I will have linked up uh, up above and down in the description below that you can check out. But basically I did an experiment where I wanted to see if I could start an eBay business. And I went out and bought um, basically some guitar necks from a uh, wholesaler at a wholesale price and then i resold them on ebay and i measured out my profit to kind of see how much i could earn and to see if this was something i could scale up and all those results are in this blog post here and i also did an interview with another friend of mine uh, in another video which i'll link to up above as well where he paid off eighty thousand dollars of debt just using ebay and working a few hours on each saturday and so in that video, he talks about his strategy of how he used eBay to do this, in which it's just really simple. And so um, if you haven't sold anything on eBay, uh, definitely check it out. Like we've, we have a lot of videos about it and we have a really simple kind of step-by-step -step how to, and just by doing that, selling one thing, you can kind of get your feet wet to see if that's something you would consider doing. But it's, it's a whole lot less intimidating than it seems. And I'll have that video linked up um, in the description as well if you want to check that out. And if, you know, and honestly, like just starting or with the stuff around your house is a great way to just start earning some extra cash. And then if you enjoy that, then you can decide to turn it into a business if that's something that you want to do. All right, next up is a website called Upwork. And this is one where I actually go to hire a whole bunch of people. And basically it's a community of freelancers who do just about everything. And so as you can see on this list here, there are all kinds of different uh, freelancers who work from this website. And so basically as a freelancer, you can go here and put out a profile and say that, um, say that you do creative writing or maybe you do uh, presentations for people or logo design or maybe you do web research or maybe you're a virtual assistant or you know any of these things and you just go put your profile out there say that you do this set your own price whatever you uh, want to get paid and then people like me will come out here and we'll be searching for something and we will hire things and I honestly most of my hires go through this site and I know a lot of other people who hire uh, almost exclusively from this website, like when you're looking for a freelancer. So, uh, so if you have some sort of skill, I mean, really, this is just a drop in the bucket of what they have. Um, but if you have some sort of skill that you could freelance with, this is definitely something to consider because because you have a lot of control, you know. So you can you have control obviously of what jobs you take, but also what your pay is. So if you only want to work for X amount or over, you know, you can set that, you know, and. Obviously, no one's going to hire you if, um, 
you know, if they, if they want to pay less than that. So, and I've actually had a few friends who've started here and, you know, just kind of got their feet wet as they were trying to work out of, you know, working for another company uh, to kind of become a full-time freelancer. And, and it's just a great way to start getting some business and just kind of getting your feet wet with uh, the whole freelance thing. And in the similar vein, something else you could do is if you have some sort of skill that you can teach other people, you could go to a website like this, like Take Lessons here, where basically you can come on here as a teacher and you can teach about whatever the thing is that you're really knowledgeable about. So these are just a handful of the things, but we'll click over here to view all lessons just so you can see everything that's available. But there's all kinds of like academic tutoring, any kind of computer skills if you're really good at like whatever, CAD software or maybe it's Microsoft Office, like you can teach people about that. Um, obviously like any kind of um, language or like uh, instrument and something that's really cool that I didn't even know they did until I started looking at this, uh, you can do, like you could teach guitar lessons virtually. So this doesn't even need to be local. So you can do this virtually Therefore, you can reach a much wider audience than maybe just the whatever the 15 miles around your house that you might normally be teaching guitar lessons. So it's a great way to take your skill and turn it into some extra cash. Uh, so if you have something like that, do you'd love to, uh, I don't know, just share with people and actually get paid to teach like this is something to consider. All right, next up is real estate investing. And this is not like obviously a very quick turn this into cash type of thing. But uh, my friend Brandon Turner over at Bigger Pockets, we actually did an interview together, and uh, this blog post here just kind of goes into some of these basics of how to get started as a beginner. And if you're considering doing this, definitely check out this interview because Brandon is one of the smartest guys in the industry. He works for probably the biggest real estate website, um, real estate education website online right now called Bigger Pockets. And he's written a few books and just super, super knowledgeable. And he's done all this stuff himself. He started just, you know, picking up one rental property and then just continuing to add more and more. Now he's got a huge portfolio and it's just making a really nice income from all these real estate holdings that he has. So if you are thinking about getting into real estate investing, definitely check this out to get a little more detail uh, before you move forward. And last on the list is a website called Turo. And I really love this one because basically imagine it like this. It's like Airbnb, but for your car. And so essentially what it is, is it's people renting out their cars to other people wanting, needing a car. So instead of having to go to Enterprise or Hertz to rent a car, you can rent from individuals uh, and you can rent for a fraction of the price. And then a lot of times it's a whole lot easier and more convenient. Uh, and so I've used this as a renter a lot. I haven't rented out my car yet, but I've rented a lot from it and it's just brilliant. So one of the things I love obviously is that it's considerably cheaper than renting from the big car companies. But on top of that, like certain airports, uh, you might need to take a couple trams or a bus to get over to the car rental area because the airport's so big. And, you know, and sometimes that takes you a half an hour to get over there and stand in line and get your car and whatever else. And many times when I've rented from Turo, the person renting the car will actually come right up to the baggage claim area. And I can just walk right out with my bags and hop in my car. And so it saves me a ton of time as well. Now, obviously in this video, we're talking about being a renter and making money from this. Um, and they just have a little thing here where you can just kind of see how much you can earn. And so, and the value of a car is a big kind of component of how much you will get paid. So lower end cars, like you can rent out a car that might be 15 years old. I think I, I've actually rented one that was probably 15 years old. Uh, so people will still rent it because it's going to be cheaper to rent. But even if you do have a newer and nice car, it's something to consider as well because you'll get paid considerably more. And so you can just use this little chart to kind of get a ballpark. And it's going to depend just like Airbnb on your city and how much the demand there is. But and as you would expect, they have insurance to kind of cover any accidents that might happen. And and being on the renting side of things, it seems like a very streamlined and pretty easy process. And as a renter, you have control. So anyway, if you have a car and uh, you're interested in making some cash from it, definitely consider Toro as well. All right, so those are the 12 things. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some helpful. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments what ones you haven't heard of, which ones you're considering doing. And if you're new to the channel, what we do here is we talk about ways to put more money in your pocket. So it'll be stuff like this, ways to earn a little extra cash and also ways to save money. And then we also talk about some of the timeless biblical principles about how to manage our money as well, because What's the point of having it if we can't manage it well? So if that's something that resonates with you, consider hitting the subscribe button so you can hear from us as we create more stuff. Oh, and if you found this helpful, I'd love it if you could leave us a little thumbs up down below just to let us know that it helped. But that's all we have for today. So I will see you in the next video.